Okay, today I'm going to explain to you about infrastructure. Now, in any country, there are two main modes through which, you know, the economy works. And these are your agriculture, the second was around industry and of late the third constituent around this is the services however you would have noticed that each of these constituents on themselves require a large number of support support what kind of support Support, agriculture may require support in terms of good seeds, fertilizers. Once the production is complete and the produce is ready, okay, you need to transport it. The same thing needs to be received by the industry. Why? Because if this is not transported in time, it may perish or it may use its, lose its utility. Okay. Similarly, within the industry, you need better roads. Why? The roads will help you in transporting this. You need to have power or energy so that you can run the machines on okay when you are selling it the transportation again is a very important factor from a services perspective let's say in India you have a large amount of BPO plus KPO services which are there you require very good telecom facilities why if the telecommunication facilities are not there then the BPOs and KPOs will not be able to interact with the clients overseas and therefore the services sector may have problems so all this gamut of activities all these services which provide support to each of these sectors fall within infrastructure so infrastructure basically refers to the support services which are provided to the agriculture sector, to the industry sector, to the services sector. Now, while these are some of them, there are others as well, like, you know, for the services or for the industry, for both of them, and the requirements may be there for both of them. Infrastructure also includes education system. So if the system of education in a country is strong, it is able to churn out educated people there will definitely be a large number of people available for the services or for that matter in manufacturing industry today one of the biggest problems that we face in India is that the good quality educational institutes which are there they have limited capacity limited intake capacity so while the number of people who graduate or who pass out of K-12 is very large there are not many good institutes that are ready or that have the capacity to take these people they have limited capacity so all these basically fall within the infrastructure infrastructure refers to anything which provides support services to the main areas the main areas being agriculture industry and services 